Tommy. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Stephanie? I'm doing great on this fabulous spring day. I'm out in the woods. You're out in the woods. So this is awesome. Welcome to another He Said, She Said. And uh, you are right in your uh, place where your rings are at? Right. So, yeah. So, you know, Squatchers have found all these crazy ring rings, circles, whatever they are. In this, in this suburban area that's really close to, well, it's in the middle of everything, right? But it's a, it's a very wooded park. Uh, lots of people come here. And there, it's, the rings are only in this one section that's atop of the hill. There's a lake behind me over there. And there's another lake over there. Um, but it's only in this one section because we've scoured all the woods. And this is the only place we found them. But there are 20 of them. 20 of them go figure and there's one right behind me i think you can see it but in addition yeah. to that one what we're finding is they're kind of grouped so there's one there and i don't know if you can see it but there's another one there can you see that one yes and yes. then there's another one just over there do you see that one it looks right it's right do you have any idea like what natural phenomena it was or if it was someone doing it you know nefarious or what well here's the thing they're you know 20 to 30 feet up in the trees i mean how do you, how do people get up there i mean this is the woods right so you'd have to bring a ladder or something to get them up that high i mean i can't do it or you have to be something who can you know climb up the trees you know yeah. certainly not me but then just over here there's another one let me take you to this one this one's kind of bizarre because this one is like a double wreath so in this one particular area there's like four of them um i'm guessing there are wood ticks out so i'm sure i'm going to get home and have a lot of them on me but you know it is, it is. so if you can see can you see that one right there yes it's like a double one and that one is not as high as the other ones but yet it's too high for anyone even you i think to put up there you know what i mean so isn't that bizarre? Now, any idea what's doing it or what being or cryptid is doing it? You know, I don't, I don't really know. You know, we have, we have seen other Bigfoot researchers. There's a Bigfoot researcher up in Ontario who um, talks about, she finds um, like teepee structures. And on these teepee structures will be these exact same kind of rings. Now, there's none of that here. There's this structure over here, but this is clearly, I think this was built by humans up here. You know, just, I'll show it to you, but I'm pretty sure it's made by humans. And there is no rings on it. So there's this. Do you see this? It's pretty cool, actually. But um, I, I, I think probably people did that one. But the rings, I don't know. But and other researchers in Minnesota have told me that they have found these things as well. And in conjunction with other like Bigfoot things. But who knows if they're Bigfoot? Maybe it's dogmen. You know, dogmen are more prevalent to suburban areas. And this is definitely a, a northeast suburban area of Minneapolis. So if you got me. I don't know, but there's still um and I, and I think I counted a new one over here when I came up here. I haven't gone through the whole area before we before our call, and I haven't been up here for a month or so. So, but there is another new one over there. But you know, they're made from these, like this material. Like here's, oh, it's not this one. This one, but I don't see any right here. But they're like vines, you know, that grow in the trees. So it's like mm -hmm. they're taking those and making these wreaths, you know, and they're not like. When you think of a grapevine wreath, you know, like I have on my house, for example, it's thick and lush. And these are like two or three vines, you know, they're not, they're not like that for sure. So I, I, you got me, I have no idea what it means, but it's just very cool. And like I said, this park is on the waterway that is a creek that leads north. It goes all the way up into our research area. So how easy for them to get down here undiscovered there's culverts you know that go under the interstates so i mean they, it's possibility right yeah you know it'd be interesting to uh, ask anyone listening if they have any experience with those right yes 
because like I said, there's a there's another researcher that's down kind of in the southern part of the state, and he has found them too. So I, maybe it's kind of a northern thing, you know, if you've never seen them out there, because you would have seen them, I would have thought, you know. And we actually, Carrie and I went to um, another regional park, because we've been going to these regional parks since we found all this, you know, because we're kind of, it's going to be kind of a main focus, I think, of squatchers, because it's easy. It's in our backyard, you know, there's no packing, no staying overnight, no nothing, you know. And um, we went to another one right on the Mississippi River, and we found another one of these rings, and that was like 15 miles away, you know. So what are they? I don't know. It's very interesting. But what I will say so there's all these rings right here. And then I noticed today, I guess I didn't notice this before, and I'm sure it's been here for a while. But look at this arch. Can you see it? Yeah. Yep. And that is so formed like that. And it's super old. So it comes out of this tree. It's a something. I'm not really sure if it's a branch or whatever, but it's been bent. And it kind of attaches itself down here. See? And it's like right, right in the middle of all these rings. So what does it all mean? I don't know. Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. It's a, it's an under wrapped in a mystery. Yes, it's a conundrum. We don't know what it is, but you know, we'll keep an eye on it for sure. And yeah, if there's anyone out there watching this and you've seen the same, let us know what you think. You know, because I, I the, the person that I know in southern Minnesota that's seen this too you know, things that squatch, you know, um, but this is, I mean, we're 10 miles to the city center of Minneapolis here in this park. So a highly populated area. I mean, but again, it has all the river, you know, the river access and the, and the, and the water access. So, I mean, it's, I guess it's possible. Most definitely possible. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, you, so so tell us where you are because you're out in the woods and, and you just found tracks, right? Yeah, I was uh, I was going around this cornfield and it was uh, just freshly tilled and uh, I found some tracks and there they were and then I called you and I kept going and whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm really curious to see uh, what is going on up here. Uh, I had someone tell me that they saw something up here and someone else heard something up here and this and that and uh i don't know this is an area that i'm gonna start really concentrating on i love it well and i think that's the key right we just got to keep going back to the same areas because if there's something going on we'll see the changes you know once you're familiar with an area if there's something different i think that's a big part of research absolutely yep yep can't yeah. deny it yeah you're on it, we're on it. And we have this other area that we just saw. Uh, uh, so this creek that, that feeds this lake out here is also the one that runs north and, and all the way up in our research area. And so we're trying to get through all of the, there's a lot of um, wildlife management areas and a lot of natural areas set aside along this creek. So we're gonna try to go to each one of those and see what we see all the way up to the research area, you know, in the next month or two, you know, just to see what we find. So you're gonna have the weather on your side finally. I yes, no snow, no snow. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Things yep. are so, greening up. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the one lady that I talked to, uh she was walking her dog in this area and uh she heard uh screaming and uh she was real adamant that it was uh, she didn't know what it was but then mm -hmm. i i uh happened to see someone that uh they had a daytime visual crossing the road just over the hill so this is really a a bizarre area and then on top of that there's a cemetery over here so i don't know yeah all the good stuff. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Well, you know, paranormal <laughs> things go hand in hand is what I think. You know, that's just my opinion. But you I know. think so too. <laughs> you know, I know we've talked about this before, and I do think there's a connection. And I do think Bigfoots are interdimensional and they just can pop in and pop out. But I also think that they follow the physical land pictures too, like streams and rivers and lakes, you know. 
So yeah, interesting stuff. And you know, so this is just one more thing I think to look for. And what is it? Is it like a marker, like our TP structures or arches? I mean, we don't really know what any of them are, do we? Or X marks the spot. You know, another thing we've been finding a lot are Y branches. Do you find those a lot too? That are like yanked out of trees and just stuck in the ground. Like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Like uh, I, 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 find ground. I don't know about why, but uh, definitely I find sticks in the ground. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We've been finding a lot of Y branches and a lot of Y branches that are, have been broken off and then stuck like in a crook of a tree, like in between the tree trunk and another big branch, you know, and it's pulled out of somewhere and just put there for some reason. I'm not sure what, but um, so interesting. <laughs> Um, oh, man. Hal Lane, Hal Lane is a guy. He has a lot to do with that. Like he, he searches out a lot of those things too, especially the uh, ground sticks. Hal does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We should have him on our show. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, and he can show us what he's what he's found down there too. You know, I think we that'll be the maybe the next episode. <laughs> right on. Anyway, well, thanks for thanks for watching, everybody, and we will be back soon. We had a little bit of a hiatus here again. We just have been get busy. Both of us have been super busy, so it's been kind of hard to get it together, but we'll be back soon with another new one, too. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.
Okay, it's Carrie and Steffi. And we are um, in these suburban woods. So what what <laughs> what Jason Trost called suburban squatch. Um, but we've been noticing these circles, vine circles in the woods. Here's one. So let yeah. Um, hopefully you can see it. Yep. There's the first one. And then there's another one right over, not too far from there. Right there. So two, look how high they are off the ground. So there's Carrie. There's where that one is. Got them, do you think? Yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in on that one. Yep, so so there's one close up that Carrie was just standing under. Here's the first one that we showed you. Let's do a close up on that. No, let's do that on the way out because there's... And then there's this one. Yeah, so it's a trio all within a short distance of each other. Another one, this one's even further up the tree. Yeah, way up there. Oh yeah, it's way up there. Yeah. There's a, a swamp slash pond right down there and there's another lake over this way. There's another one. So another that one's probably another 30 feet off the ground, I oh, would yeah. guess. Easy. And you can it's see the smaller one. Volume. Yeah, you can see the smaller one right over there. Oh, that's so high up there. Yeah. So here, I'm going to back off so you can see how far it is above Carrie. Yeah. Five, so. Yeah. It's high up there. It's really high up there. And then there's another one right over here. Turn around. There's the other one. That one's a little closer to the ground, but I bet that one's still about 20 and feet up. Let's watch wow. Carrie. Okay, I'm following you. Where are you seeing this? Right back here. This one. Oh, it's a double. Okay, I'm coming. Oh yeah, oh, that one's really, that's close to the ground. Barely hanging, it's, there's no, no branch hanging out or anything. I don't know how that, that's crazy. You gotta get a close shot of this one. Yeah. How'd you get over there? Okay, here we go. So we have seen eight of these vine circles. We did a went journey back in the woods a little bit further and found a, some kind of structure where you could see all three of those wreaths. Um, interesting stuff. Whether the structure was built by people or what, we're not sure, but we're just, these wreaths are what's just 
so amazing. I mean, what are they? Who made them? How did they get up in these trees? Yeah. I mean, they're really up there. I don't know. And some of them are like teetering on the edge and placed just right so that the winds won't take them. And look at all this snow we've had. Uh, I mean, you would think they would just fall down, wouldn't you? It's kind of like those, those Scanicum stars that they're just built engineered so well that they just stay up no matter what. So here's another one. This one's not as far up and it's closer to the trunk of the tree, which is different than the ones that we've seen so far. There's this big oak tree. And there's a Yep, there it is. As you can see. Yep, there's the other one. There. I would say this is probably 20 feet up in the air too. It's pretty far. Here's the ground. That's all the way up there. And then if you go across over this way, here we come to another one, just kind of kitty-corner. That one is probably about the same height, I would say, would be my guess. And this one, this one is closer to the, uh, to the tree as well. So here is the third one. See, we're finding that when we find them, they're in sets of three. So here is this one. And then if we swing the camera around, the first one that we showed you was in that tree over there. I'm trying to find it in here. And then the third one that we showed you was right there. It reminds me of a harness for a cow. Yeah, it does. It has that shape. Like the oxen, like an oxen harness. So there's the first one. There's got to be more now. So here we are and this isn't one of the circles that we find but it's it's all these vines and this is this is what I'm pretty sure these vine circles are being made out of it's definitely not natural now see that is almost kind of a circle but that's a natural thing but these are all over in these woods so how easy or are they fine oh did it break Yep. It's hanging from the Yep. Huh. You look. So one broke. Bummer. That's exactly what it is. And then over here, in the crook of this tree. Look at it, it's starting to get taken apart again. It's another one. There's, it's also high up. Let's go take a look at that. Look at it, it was full the last time. It looks like it's so we were here on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So that's four days, and we've noticed that three of these wreaths or vine circles have been kind of deassembled, you know, like taken apart. Why? Who's doing this? They're too high up for people. A pretty one. Yeah, 
then there's the surrounding area. I'll look for more. And here we go. Here's number 14. Well, you know what made me look at it was this gnarled limb. There's that same limb dangling. Yes, exactly. And this is what we've been seeing time after time. They're like on a limb. And here's another one. Right here. Yep. So here's this dangly limb. Look at this one's been taken apart too. Oh, serious? I don't remember that one being uh, pulled apart like this. There it is. See how far off the ground it is. The last time that I don't know. Because it's just like at the very edge. Very edge. Just oh, hung on there. Fun. So a good 20 feet off the ground, I would say. Maybe not quite 20 feet. Well, yeah, I would say so. At least 18 or so. Oh, it's on the very edge of that branch. Yep. That is so cool. Just teetering there in the edge. There's that one. So that one's a duo, so there are two right in clear sight of each other. There's like a marshland. We're up on the top of the hill up here. And that one's also like hanging like precariously. Right? Right at the very edge. And this is where we come in, so we're back to square one. So we've seen at least 15 of those trees, am I right? Okay, that looks like a starter structure. It does. Keep going? Yeah, well I think this is where we started, isn't it? Pretty sure.
Tommy. How are you today? I'm Can good. I... How are you doing, Steph? I'm good. I'm up here um, in the woods with all the rings with, with Katie from the Squatchers team. And we thought yeah. it was time to come up here at night and see if anything mm -hmm. is different. You know, if we see anything, whatever. But what we have noticed is that there are more rings even than the last time that we chatted. Like where I'm standing, where we're standing right now. And I know you can't see them. So I'll just I'll tell you. But there's there's one there. There's one there. There's one there and there's one there. So we're in between four rings right here. But this is ground zero. Maybe something will happen. <laughs> Maybe it won't. I don't know. But um, you don't know until you check. Huh? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But I just thought that we would just, you know, kind of show you what it looks like up here at night. And we had a hard time finding them actually because it is dark in here and, you know, you can't really see at night in the woods. <laughs> yeah. But we were able yeah. to. These. And where we came in, we noticed another, another brand new one just down there. So, I mean, how bizarre is that? You know? And and still, nobody knows what built them no. or how they get there or whatever. No, no. and you've seen them too because you posted pictures. Yeah, you've seen. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it's just it's bizarre, right? It really is. So I don't, I don't know what to say. And I know there's other researchers here in Minnesota that are finding them too, because they send me their pictures. And so they're in a totally different area than this. So, and you know, like we've talked about, this is a, this is a regional park um, in, North, in the Northeastern suburbs of St. Paul, Minneapolis, but really we're less than 10 miles to ground zero downtown Minneapolis. So how bizarre is that, you know? No. Do you guys have like any kind of intuition or anything like that that comes from this place? I haven't, you know, I, it's bizarre. You know, when we first found them, it was during, it was when COVID first hit and Casey and I would come up here during the day with Melly to take her for a walk. And that's, and that's actually when we started seeing them, you know, we actually, actually, Yes, that is exactly it because it felt so weird up here. It has just, and I didn't say anything to Casey, you know, I just kind of like, okay, I don't know what these are, you know, are they something bad? Are they used by witches or something? But they're not, it's not a witchy thing. Um, and the feeling up here was really weird. And Casey one time, you know, cause we would come here like a few times a week, you know, cause it's close to home and Mally liked to walk here and it was a great day, day thing to do. And she said to me, mom, it's really creepy up here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, finally, you're going to say something. But yeah, it, is, it is, there's a, def, a, a different feel. There is. Yeah. It's a different feel. And it just, it doesn't feel like the rest of the park. So this is like on the top of a hill, right? So you have to come climb a hill to get up here. And it's this tiny little part of this big regional park. There are none of these anywhere else in the park because we've looked, you know, I've looked in all the areas of this park. So, but there's a, behind us, there's a big marshland. The lot, the lake is over there. That's an actual lake that connects with a Creek that, you know, you can goes all the way up to our research area, for example, you know, through different wetlands and this, that, and the other things. So totally Follow the water, right. It's the rice Creek watershed. So it's like, it all connects. So it totally makes sense that, you know, if it's a squatch or a cryptid or a dogman, they could come right through here. And the fact that these are so high up, I yeah. mean, they're 20 feet up. They're 20 feet off yeah. the ground. Or five yeah. 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 I mean, this one here, I don't know, you can't see it. It's too bad, but it's here. I don't know. Maybe you can. Let's look. I doubt it, but it's, it's right there. Okay. So I'm five four whatever but you see where I'm <laughs> no you can't it's too dark it's too dark yeah it's four or five <laughs> okay even though you're so yeah I know, I know i'm just a short little one but yeah so what you know what are they that that is indeed a mystery that is a, wow i know, you know and you, you wonder if like it has to do with the weather if it has to do with this or that or whatever it's yep. it's really strange oh i know and the weirdness that some of them are like 
some of them, Katie, have only been like two vines. Right. And, and they're are... definitely from the vines that are growing on the trees. You know, you can tell they kind of just took them down and made these wreaths. And some of them are just very few strands. And then there are other ones that are, you know, like twice as many strands. Right. So yeah. they mean something. And why are they all in an area? There's three. It's like a triangle right here. What is, does it mean? And that's and that's kind of how, what we're finding up here is that they're all kind of in threes. It's kind of like threes. Yeah. You know? Isn't that weird? Bad, bad things happen in threes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right. I don't know. But yeah. So anyway, interesting stuff. And I just thought yeah, I know yeah. before and we've done a we've done an episode on this. But here we are at night. There's nothing going on right now, but it's not quite dark yet either. So I know it looks dark, but um soon. And we'll just see what happens if anything bizarre takes place. That, so, oh yeah. I'm I'm glad you guys went up there at night. Well that's yeah. that's really cool. I know, I know. And it, you know, we we don't want to be here, you know, it's it's the city, it's a populated place, right? So I'm not sure how long we want to stay here after dark, just in case. But right. um but we'll be here for a while and I think we'll do a live on the Squatchers page too in a little bit and see if you know anything. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, the kitty. I'm oh. sitting here with my cat. <laughs> Love it. Cool. Oh. So anyway, so, and you've been, so, and here's the other thing, you've been finding them, other people have been finding them all over the United States. So, yes. and Canada, and Canada, that woman researcher up in Ontario mm -hmm. finds them attached to stick structures. Oh, that, yeah, really, but. yeah, yeah. So I don't know what they I are. Think this is something, this is something that really warrants a, a lot, little more investigation, I think. I think yeah. so too. I think so too. And for anybody who's watching this, I know, I think the last time we did this, somebody did post a picture of one that they found out in your area. Remember that? Yep. yep. So if anyone has any ideas what they are, because they're totally on like strict structures, arches, all the things that we normally find, although there are a couple of arches here too, mm -hmm. you know, so, but no stick structures, but I mean, bizarre, right? And in the middle yeah. of and in, in the middle of a very populated area, you know? Yeah. Anyway, craziness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get, better get out of there before it gets dark. Yeah, we'll be here for a little <laughs> bit, I think, but but we're good because we don't we don't have Francine to protect us, Tommy. <laughs> I forgot Francine, darn it. <laughs> um, I know. I know. I know. Anyway, all right. Well, I will let you go. And, and thanks for watching, everyone. Tommy, I will let you know what happens and we'll put it in, you know, we'll write it when we post this episode. All right. You guys be careful out there. Thanks a lot. Well, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye. It's
in their, in their way And when the lightning comes down When the lightning comes down When the lightning comes down It's gonna burn this mother
that we ended up uh, coming up with for it. So enjoy. Yeah. 